Right, so it's near the season because it's panic time. Uh, just took the diff out of that axle to have a look at it and uh, the pinion's gone. So, quickly down to Northampton to uh, get some parts from Hauser Racing and then uh, going to call in at Harrison's on the way back. Harrison Racing on the way back and pick up some more parts. So, week away and we're panicking. We're well, not panicking, but uh, just rushing around getting bits just to uh, get ready for the first meeting at Kingsland. Right, let's go and see if they've got our bits. Well, they have got our bits because I found them before I came. I'm not that stupid. <laughs> this is what I come to out of the racing for. This is what they do. They do the dragster parts. And that's some dragster though, isn't it? This is why we use these big heavy di heavy diffs now because this is what they're using in the dragsters. And that's what we're using in the stock cars. That's amazing. What engine is that? Uh, 598 big block Chevy. Jeez. <laughs> There's two of them, another one now, look. It's about just under 10 litre, 9.8 litre. Is it really? Jeez, what's the speed on this? What kind? You go on seconds or speed or? Uh, so I've done a 727 at 183. I think this is done 135. Oh, you race this, you race this, do you? Yeah, yeah, I've raced the other one. Oh, wow. That's the Fair company, pleasure. The company car. So. Is it really? Jeez. Love it, thanks for showing me that. That's yeah. amazing. What have I just found? That's that gold ring that Speaky was carrying across the track at uh, at uh, Coventry when we had that uh, double rollover. That's the wing he was carrying across the track. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Good spot. This is what you call neighbourhood watching, Barston. We just caught a ploy tip up our lane. And there's about, I'm on this end side of him, and there's about, I don't know, God knows how many cars in the side of him, there must be 10 cars in the side, there's about 30 of us here. And we've caught him red handed, about to tip that load, and uh, we just went to the police. So, he's just top, top one matches, and we've made him pick it up. Right, let's wait for the police to uh, take him away. He'll never do this again in our village. Right then, next job, get that crappy radio out, put a nice new one in. Look at that. Working and everything, that looks better. Cheers, Paul. Right, middle of the week, and we're just finishing. Uh, Simon Wright's coming tomorrow to do the wing, and he, Jake. Uh, we didn't nick the axle out of my car in the end because uh, Tom's knocked us one up. We got a spare axle out of my car, and but the ends were wrong. So uh, Tom's helped us out and he's uh, put ends on it for us so that the, the uh, transit hubs fit. What else we got to do, Jake? Uh, just doing the brackets for silencers. Silencers, oh yeah. Just run through the whole car again. That's our spare axle now. Uh, yeah, just paint the bare steel, don't we? Yep. Brackets on there, paint the steel, and then we just do the tracking. New no tyre to go on it. Uh, so on right to tomorrow. That's it. This car will be ready by tomorrow night. Okay, first job. Push the bus. Load up, go racing. Ah, clean and shiny. It's been sitting under them trees all winter. What a beautiful day for the uh, start of the soccer season. Feels like spring. Let's go racing. Here we go. Bring it in. Here we go again. Things in, and it's not raining. It's not cold. It's not windy. It's lovely actually. Never been to Kingston, have we? This early in the year, it's been not been cold and windy and horrible. Still right. wet. Yeah, it's still a bit wet. But uh, right, screwing here in, and then watching the others. Right. How are we getting on? Not bad here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's people. People are going to talk about me that nicely. <laughs> Good luck, Chris. Cheers, pal. It's uh, first race of the season at King's Inn. It's was the, the Yellow Championship. It always used to be the last race of the season at Coventry, but it's the first race of the season at King's Inn. And I would have been in this race, but I was going racing. Jake is third row inside. Come on, Jakey. Come on, Jakey.
and yellow is here, there's always 10 laps, except for the championship race. This is the Wars and Yellow Championship, first race of the season, 16 laps. They run it 10. So I tell you what's catching, we've got six, so it's a good race, but I don't know why they cut it to 10 laps. Tom's with us, Tom's just uh, giving Jake a few tips. Jake and Tom of course were in Disney the other week, so uh, Tom's offered to come out. So very nice of him. Just uh, giving Jake some tips. Remember the story, just repeat the story to a friend. The first race after COVID and the first race out, sadly after Colin North passed away, we came here to King's Lynn and me and Jake were first and second. And I jumped out like a drive across the centre, went and give Jake a hug because we were first and second. The first and only time I've ever done it. And I got loaded up for doing it and I made a mistake. And I threw my trophy under that tanker. <laughs> I threw it under one of them tankers, I was so cross. I threw it and it's underneath them tankers somewhere. <laughs> Sorry about that. Bonnell's out. Nice, you've got one job. Bring the water. I've got the water. Just on the last minute, I had them to chuck the car. I chuck the carburetor on off our time at a car because it was off anyway. So I chucked it on the coach, and it's a good job I did because I might have done some on a favour. Let's hope he can fix it because uh, he's done me plenty of favours over the years. So I hope I can return the favour. I said to him, don't crash on the first lap. To let him back off and let him go, and he did. He's a one, two, three, four for the restart. One lap in, and he's fourth. Come on, JD.
got to second and wave your others to come out. So uh, he's got one, two, three, four, five red tops behind him now. Come on, Jake. Keep it up. Come on, Jake. Cabra in the last race, and they uh, when they won the final, still had a misfire. Our Cabra didn't make any difference, but uh, well done. I'm glad we could uh, try and help you solve your problems. Jake had a puncher again, two punches in two races, so he's had a fifth in his first race, and that's what the only results he's had. Uh, but Cow was brilliant. Thanks for Tom's help. Cow was brilliant. Onwards and upwards, it gives us lots and lots of confidence for, uh, for, for the forthcoming weeks. So that's a wrap. King's Inn track was, track was fantastic as always. Thanks, King's Inn. See you next week. Uh, two points in two races. Now we're lucky. Now we're joking. Well, a bit of last minute King's Inn mayhem. Got some Dutch friends here, Seeds here, look. And uh, apparently we've got Tom Harris's trailer on the back of his coach. And apparently, I don't know why, but it's got on the back of our coach and we're towing it home. So I believe. So Tesla's here as well. Look. And uh, we're in the pits at midnight. <laughs> it's cold, it's wet, it's raining. But, but everyone does us favours. So we're trying to do them favours. And hopefully we'll get this uh, trailer on the back of our coach in a minute and we'll be out of here. You good? Right. We can do 20 questions, right. Name. ECL. Mark, this is with Mark's answer. <laughs> I'll, I'll, answer, I'll answer serious ones. Age. Uh, Herbie's age, end of January. Lives 53. in where? Live. Where do you live? Uh, in a little village called Donington, Lincolnshire. Race number? 326. Nickname? A lot of people call me a lot of things, but ECL. <laughs> How long have you been racing? Uh, 30 years. Have you really? Favourite yep. truck? Mildo. Mildenor. Uh, Mildenor? Oh, Mildenor. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah. Mildenor. Uh, best achievement? Being dad of the British champion. <laughs> or uh, getting to red in both formulas one and two. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, tea or coffee? Coffee. Best memory? Finn being born and winning the British this year. Uh, Shale or tarmac? Shale. Worst memory? Worst memory? There's been lots in 30 years. There's... Bad races, isn't it? Uh, worst memory, Jesus. Losing a championship in an F2 by an inch. Are you joking? No, and it was that. That's an inch in my ass. Yeah. No, an inch. <laughs> an inch, yeah. Well, that was a bad memory, though. Sun or snow? Sun. Favourite driver? Favourite driver? I've got to say Finn, isn't I, really? Yeah, I've got to say Finn. Who's got the tidiest car, truck, equipment? In what, all toll? Yeah. Who's got the tidiest equipment? Come in, Ben. Jeff Nichols. <laughs> Your best race? Uh, winning from Reading and F2 at a UK <laughs> Speed Weekend here. Favourite food? Sunday dinner, but lamb. Lamb, really? Lamb, I yeah. really did that as a question, you know, turkey yeah, or beef. Yeah, I never yeah. thought lamb. of that. Yeah, lamb. Best race you've watched? British. Yeah, when Pin won. 2023. Yeah, that was fantastic, wasn't it? Favourite sport outside stock cars? I was half tidy at football. 
Yeah, because that's playing football, semi-pro. So that's the next question: is, what, what would you be if you weren't a yeah, stock car driver? I'm not a stock car driver. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd still be, I'd still be dad to Finn. Uh, yeah. What would I be if I want my stock car driver? Useless. A bar owner in Benidorm. That'll do. Good answer. Thank you, Mark. Cheers.